What's up, Turtle Riders? Give me one second. I'm f I got a green screen tonight. I'm fucking around. It's gonna look weird. We gotta get used to this. Hold on. Hold on. That's why I was a little late tonight. All right. Let's see how this looks. Holy fuck! That's crazy. Can we adjust? What do you guys think? How about do I sit right here? Does that work? All right. So we're fucking around with shit. All right, so welcome to the show, guys. Welcome to the Turtle Boy Live Show. Uh, I'm your host, Uncle Turtle Boy. Hold on, how's this work? Jesus Christ! Woo, woo! All right, technology. We're moving up in the world. We're experimenting. It took me like an hour. This is the best I could get. I'm going to figure this out eventually. But um, in the meantime, guys, uh, I've shared this link to the Clarence Woods Emerson page. Uh, I didn't share it to the Turtle Boy Sports page because that page. What the fuck happened to my shoulder? Where'd it go? That page, what the fuck? How do I go like this? What do I, what the, why do I disappear? Like that. Did I sit like this the whole show? Okay. So I shared it to the Turtle Boy Sports page. I didn't share it because it no longer exists. So you got to follow the Uncle Turtle Boy page on Facebook. The Turtle Boy page, it just came down. No explanation was given in the world. I don't know. It just, nothing was removed. No warnings, nothing. Just 18,000 followers, gone. But, you know. We don't rebuild here. We reload. It's almost like an occupational hazard at this point is losing Facebook pages. It just is what it is. We'll just make new ones. Clarence is still up and running, so that's good. They don't seem to touch him, knock on wood. And he's got like 23,000 followers, so that's good. So definitely follow the pages. I've shared it up on there. Share, share, share. Let people know we're out there. And in case you guys didn't notice, uh, and no, this is not a green screen. I know some people are saying that I can't wear green on a green screen. This is a blue screen. It's a blue, it's a blue and green. I got green on the other side. So, but maybe this is like too bluey, this shirt. I don't fucking know. We'll figure it out eventually. I know it is. <laughs> I can do shit with my eyes too. Look at that. Look at that. Woo. Okay. So anyway, uh, without further ado, uh, I've also uh, got another announcement to make. I'm back on Twitter. I could use a thousand followers. That'd be great. I think we're up to like almost 900 now. I've been on for 24 hours. I got kicked off on the at real uncle turtle boy account because I don't know, uh, Antifa or something. I don't know. Piss somebody off. I had like 7,000 followers gone. No biggie. You'll be back. So I can't make it using Safari. I figured Twitter's thing out, right? They ban you by your, um, browser. So I'm banned on Chrome. I'm banned on Safari. What the fuck that's going to fuck up my eyes. There we go. I'm being on Safari, and so now I'm using Firefox. So I'm I'm on Twitter. I don't even know what my handle is. My twi my handle is uh, at tb underscore Aiden a i d a n. Spell it right. At tb underscore Aiden. Give me a follow on there. I've tweeted out. We're live, etc. Okie dokie. So the eyes are freaking you guys out. You'll get used to it. 
Okie dokie. So let's uh, let's get this party started, shall we, folks? So what I really want to talk about uh, today is uh, it just I didn't blog about it yet, but uh, it's the fucking eyes are getting. Uh, I'll just stay like this. It's uh, Donald Trump is the, all this shit. I've never seen it quite like this before in the last 24 hours. As you guys know, Donald Trump spent the weekend at Walter Reed Hospital. All right. Walter Reed Hospital is named after uh, a famous doctor named Walter Reed. Who discovered the cure for yellow fever? Yellow fever used to kill people, uh, soldiers primarily. During the Spanish-American War, it killed like a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And the dude was like in the trenches trying to figure out how it spread. He actually used human uh, guinea pigs to figure out that people thought it came from the water. It's a terrible disease. And it turns out it came from mosquitoes. But you know what they didn't do? You know, Walter Reed didn't do, unlike Dr. Fauci, is uh, he didn't say that we should just stop going outside until mosquitoes don't exist, guys. Like, we should not come in contact with mosquitoes. You know why he didn't say that? Because you can't do that. It's fucking impossible. Right? It's impossible. So uh, he spends the weekend at Walter Reed Hospital with Tommy Cold. Uh, he comes back out, does the thing, and he looked fine yesterday. I mean, I mean, he looked a little bit like. Let, let's bring up the. Let's bring this up, shall we? Let's go to. Uh, hold on, right there. No, all right. So let's just go to when we search for Trump mask because this is literally instead of. Here's the big story with this, right? Donald Trump is a fat, seventy-four-year-old man who could not run half a mile if his life depended on it. Like he's just fat and disgusting. And I'll give you all that, right? He is like literally patient fucking zero for, for commie cult. The last person in the world who should get it. Like he should, he's extremely high risk. Now, Chris Christie's got it. He's even fatter, a little younger, but he still is in that, you know, meaty part of the curve where this shit could kill you. Right. Three fucking days, guys. Three days he was there. That's it. Nothing happened. He walked out of the White House on his own accord, got in a little helicopter, went to Walter Reed. He worked there over the weekend from a desk. He was never on a ventilator. He comes out, the doctors all announce, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Right. And let's just watch this. Let me show you if you guys haven't seen this. Uh, Trump, let's see if we can find this, uh, at the White House last night when he came home, because everybody's talking about this. So this is Jim Acosta, coronavirus and tea, takes off his mask. It's all they're fucking talking about. He, oh, no, he took off his mask. Oh, my God. Holy fucking shit. The mask, guys. What are we going to do? He took off his goddamn mask. Here he is. Check this one out. Uh oh, there he is. What's he gonna do? Oh no! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Look at him. He's breathing, guys. Look at him. Oh my God! He's struggling to breathe. This is like what they're saying that he can barely breathe. Like, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? No, don't go. No, put the mask on, please. Put it on. You're going to die, sir. You're going to kill everybody. Oh, my God. They're so upset about this, right? They're, like, so upset. Like, what? To me, this was the ultimate victory, right? It was the ultimate victory because if this guy can beat Kami Cold, this fat bastard right here, 74-year-old man, can beat Kami Cold in three fucking days and nothing happens to him, right? what are we doing here? What, what are we hiding from? Right. More importantly, on top of that, think about it. How do you get it? How do you get commie cold? I thought he, he's like the most protected man in the world. You can't get within 10 feet of this guy without taking a COVID test. Right. So that means either the COVID tests don't always work or it just, it just fucking happens. Like it is what it is. Like all this proves is that you cannot hide from this virus. I hate to be the bearer of bad news out there, guys, but luckily it ain't bad news because you're not going to die of coronavirus. 
I, I don't know anybody that died of coronavirus. I, I, whenever I say this, people always say, oh, I know somebody, my, you know, my friend's grandfather or whatever. The, the, the. I didn't know him. I didn't know them. Okay. I, most people out there, you probably don't know somebody that died from coronavirus because you don't hang out in nursing homes, right? Period. 94% of people who died from COVID died with COVID, not from, with. 6% of people who died with COVID died exclusively and that was all that was in their systems. 6%. This is what we're fucking hiding from. Tucker did an awesome show in this last night. He showed uh, goddamn uh, Sweden and what they're doing there, guys. I mean, I, God forbid we want to be Sweden, but a, a country we've mocked for years, but they did everything right. Like they just didn't shut down their fucking country. They did whatever they wanted. Uh, they had no lockdowns. The only thing they did was have like bans on large gatherings. There was no mask mandates. That's for goddamn sure. And nobody dies of COVID anymore in Sweden. They have like 200 cases right now. That's it. It's gone from their fucking country. They've completely defeated it. <laughs> now, I'm not an expert, but it would seem as if they achieved what's called herd immunity. And it was just, why the fuck not? Why the, what do you have to lose? We're going to do this for how long has it been going on for seven or eight months now? My kids can't go to fucking school. My kids who have no chance of whatsoever of dying from commie cold. Like it is literally impossible to kill them with commie cold. So I'm not even worried about that at all. I'm up here watching her do fucking remote learning every goddamn day. And it's painful to see it happen. It's painful to like watch a five-year-old not be able to play with her friends and do shit like that. Like, that sucks. That sucks. Every day is a goddamn fight to get her up to the computer. She needs me for shit. It's just not the same, man. There's no friendship building with kids. It's awful. It's abusive what they're doing to these kids. And why? Who are we protecting? W what are we doing here? I hate to say it, but all, all the people who died from commie cold, right? Like the lockdowns didn't work. They didn't protect them, did they? W what do we lock down for if all these people died? You tell me, how does that make any sense? Like we're just going to, and now they're talking about more restrictions. Like New York city wants to just, we're going to increase them. They're going to shut down all the synagogues. They said, God forbid the Jews get together in groups. We don't want that now. So they're going to shut down the schools, shut down the businesses, all this shit. I mean, our fucking golf tournament, our golf tournament guys got to, had to be postponed when we first scheduled the golf tournament. None of this should happen, right? It, it was good to go. And then what I really hate is when they treat you like children and punish the whole class for something somebody else did. There was a wedding in Gardner, like 300 people came, right? And this was like over the whatever limit. And so what does Charlie Parker do? He comes up, oh, you guys were bad. One, one student was bad. I got to spank the whole class. So it is what it is. Uh, anyway. At, consequently, then we can't have the term. And now I'm like, I'm thinking about the term. And I'm like, do I want to do this? Uh, like, could we, could we still do it? It's just not the same. It's not the same. Like, if we all go on our own in golf, and then you can't have like a uh, a thing afterwards, and what the fuck's the point? You can just go golfing on your own, which I'm gonna be doing on Monday anyway at Kettlebrook. I'm going golfing. I haven't golfed in like ten years. I got a foursome there. Who's in my foursome? Jinduso's in there. Uh, I think GI Turtles in there, and I think Blarney Cated. I think that's my foursome. Don't hold me to it, but it's going to be fun. So you guys are more than welcome. You guys get a tea time on your own. I'll be there. Ours is at ten. We'll see you around. Anyway, uh, oh Richio's back. Oh great. Oh fucking. Geez. Remember when Richio was scared of Leah at the fucking? Uh... <laughs> remember when you? Hey Brian, remember when you ran away from a girl? That was hilarious. Hilarious shit. Anyway, they're all they're so mad about this. Now why are they mad about this? So Trump. Then he goes and tweets out something else. We got to talk about the Trump tweets because this is important. See what we can find. Oh, God, he's tweeting up a storm today. Look at this. Every fucking minute, this guy. <laughs> oh, he's on a retweet thing, too. Oh, my God. Jesus, look at all these retweets. Good Lord. Okay, I got to find the one from yesterday, uh, the one in which he says... Basically, don't worry, right? What, what was the exact quote? Do you guys remember? I, I, I have a billion things, tabs here. Do you guys remember the name? I could just search for it this way. I didn't think you'd have this many fucking things. Peace through, oh God, all caps, Trump. 
save our second amendment i swear to god this guy's got ADHD. space force vote what the fuck massive regulation cuts vote I don't, if this is his plan to win, we're in trouble, folks. Religious liberty vote, law and order vote. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Oh, yeah. So the, here's the video. Let's watch this. Actually, I got to turn the volume. And. Walter Reed. The work they do is just absolutely amazing, and I want to thank them all, the nurses, the doctors, everybody here. I've also gotten to meet some of the soldiers and the first responders, and what a group. I also think we're going to pay a little surprise to some of the great patriots that we have out on the street, and they've been out there for a long time, and they've got Trump flags, and they love our country, so... I'm not telling anybody but you, but I'm about to make a little surprise visit. Oh, is this so the other one? Perhaps I'll get there before you get to Hold see on. me. Uh, but I just, uh, when I look at the enthusiasm, and we have enthusiasm like probably nobody's ever had. Our nobody. people that love the job we're doing, we have more enthusiasm than maybe anybody. Maybe. So uh, it's been a very interesting journey. I learned a lot about COVID. I learned it by really going to school. This is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not a good Trump. This is him like, I really learned a lot about COVID. I didn't know a lot before. I didn't do it like regular learning. It was like learning, learning. And yeah, I'm, I'm all about, uh, I know all about it now. Okay. Uh, and, and as you see here, he's had tweets taken down. This might have been the tweet right here. This might have been the tweet. I don't know if this is the one if they removed it. But he basically says, there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, he, this is the one. This Just is the left one. Walter Reed Medical okay, Center. And it's really something very special. The doctors, the nurses, the first responders. And I learned so much about coronavirus. And one thing that's for certain, don't let it dominate you. Okay. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment. Okay, first of all, Trump says a lot of stupid shit. That right there is the most presidential thing that he's ever said. Like the, the most inspiring in any, if it was any other president in American history, the media would be applauding this. Once again, listen to what he says. That's for certain. Don't let it dominate you. Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment. We have the best medicines all developed recently. And you're going to beat it. I went. I didn't feel so good. And two days ago, I could have left two days ago. Two days ago, I felt great, like better than I have in a long time. I said just recently, better than 20 years ago. Don't let it dominate. Don't let it take over your lives. Don't let that happen. We have the greatest country in the world. We're going back. We're going back to work. We're going to be out front. As your leader, I had to do that. I knew there's danger to it, but I had to do it. I stood out front. I led. Nobody that's a leader would not do what I did. And I know there's a risk, there's a danger, but that's okay. And now I'm better and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. Okay, see, so that's where you should have Don't stopped. let it dominate your lives. Get out there. You there. Go, there you go. Be careful. We have the best medicines in the world and it all happened very shortly and they're all getting approved and the vaccines are coming. Okay, so that is exactly the message that he should be sending. Like exactly the message he should be sending that it's okay, guys. Like, you're going to get it. Like, we're all going to get it. Even my fat ass, is, like, his fat ass got it. You've probably had it. And that's okay. You don't have to live in fear. You don't have to let it dominate your life. We don't have to change the way we're doing everything because you might get it. Because it's really not that big a deal when we get it. Because where does this end? Where does this end, folks? Are we going to start doing this for the flu? Are we going to be like, eh? Well, people die, like 50,000 people a year die from the flu, right? So we probably should, you know, wear masks all the time so we don't spread the flu from one to another because, I mean, in theory, that could work, right? If masks really work and flu is spread orally, then couldn't, and, and people die from the flu every year, we could be saving lives, right? By wearing masks all the time, like potentially thousands of lives. But why aren't we doing that? I thought every life was precious. I thought that's what Cuomo said. I thought just if we could save just one life, it'd be worth it. You know why, guys? Because nobody actually believes that. 
Nobody actually believes it's worth it to just save one life. That's fucking ridiculous. There's 330 million people on earth. We don't change the way we're doing to save one fucking life. That's stupid. Yes, there's probably a threshold number somewhere, but it ain't one. It's not one. Okay. We don't shut down the world to save one life. We don't change the way we're doing things. Right. How long is the mask thing going to go on for? And I, and a lot of people are always telling me about, well, turtle boy, you shouldn't fight them. The mask thing. We should just, if we wear masks, they'll open it up. Oh, you think so? Huh? <laughs> you, that's, I like your optimism there. I like your optimism there. But if you actually believe that you're foolish, that's it. They're not opening shit up with masks. They just want to control you. That's all this fucking thing is, is masks. Give me a fucking break. These people all wear masks. The governor of Virginia, Ralph Northam, coon man. He wears masks all the time. He still got it. Everybody fucking gets it. You got to get it. Embrace it. And what he said there was so fucking important. It was so good. It's exactly what he should have said. And the media did exactly what they always do. Embarrass themselves. Acted like this was a bad thing. Acted like this was a horrible thing for the president to do. To God forbid he have optimism. God forbid he has optimism. So. I'll show you some other ones that came out today, right? Um, like, so he, Trump had, was censored today by Facebook and by Twitter. And this is a real problem, a real problem going into an election year, right? So this is a journalist, quote unquote, at CNN, Donny O'Sullivan. And he goes, he, he basically snitches on Trump. And he's like, this is Facebook's COVID-19 misinformation policy per, and he tags this guy from Facebook. Okay. And he's like, Trump is, what is he saying? And this is Trump's post this morning. So he's all mad about this. Can you guys see this? No, I got to blow it up. All right. So he goes, uh, and this is the most, again, accurate Trump right here. Flu season's coming up. Many people every year, sometimes over 100,000, and despite the vaccine, die from the flu. Now, it's not quite 100,000. It's more like 30 to 50,000, I want to say. But whatever. We're splitting hairs here. A lot of people die from the flu. He goes on to say, are we going to close that down our country? No. We've learned to live with it. Just like we're learning to live with COVID. In most population, far less lethal. So why was this removed? Because they said it's misinformation because it's not less lethal. Which is completely untrue. It's just completely untrue. Among certain groups, if you're over 85, yes, COVID is, um, COVID for 85 year olds is more lethal than the flu. But COVID for, you know, a 20 year old is significantly less lethal than the flu, significantly less lethal than the flu. So what the hell are we hiding from? Again, what are we hiding from? Anyway, uh, th there's that, uh, other ones I want to show you here just like to show how crazy this is. Here's another one. This one's really pissing me off. This is another angle people should be talking about. Colleges. So far, like in this country, like Notre Dame canceled its football game the other day. Cam Newton couldn't play football. Why? Why couldn't Cam Newton play football? Who cares if Cam Newton's in great shape? Who cares if he has commie gold? Let him fucking play. If anybody doesn't want to play against them, don't play. The Cam Newton should be able to, can he play with a cold? Can he play with the flu? Sure. There's no rules against it, right? So why is there rules against playing with COVID? In college, they're all freaking out. They're, they're, like UMass sent out a big thing saying, you know, no parties. Kids are spreading disease at parties, blah, blah, blah. Um, are they not aware of what happens in college? You know what else spreads at UMass Amherst, like wildfire? Syphilis. Yeah. Hep C. Herpes. AIDS. Right? That's That spreads at UMass. Because, you know, nobody likes wearing a rubber. And, uh, you know, you drink a little too many Keystone Lights. Want to have a good time? Next thing you know, boom, boom. You're not thinking about it. Are, are kids going to stop doing that? Because of STD? Has that stopped any college kid from fucking? Has it ever? No, of course not. Because that's just what they do. Life is about taking risks. So here we have that. And... Uh, why are we, like, what do you think is more dangerous to a college student? COVID or herpes? COVID or AIDS? You tell me. But what effort are we making to stop college kids from getting drunk and fucking nothing? Because that's stupid. Because you can't stop them from doing it. We're trying to protect them from a disease that couldn't possibly kill them. But we're doing nothing, nor should we, 
to stop the plague of raw dog on college campuses, are we? No, because nothing's more American than Keystone Light and raw dog. Okay, just a fact. And we don't stop it because that's America. But for COVID, for whatever reason, this fucking disease is like we treat it like the fucking plague. And I thought, I'm like, oh, good, Trump's got COVID. I'm like, yes, finally we'll see. Once this fat old fucking dude beats COVID, what are they going to say? I'm like, they, they won't be able to say anything. Oh, they found something. They found something. He's leaving too early. Let's see what the things that they said. Look, they're really mad about the optimism thing. They're really mad about the optimism thing. Oh, crap. What did I just do? Oh, and, uh, and by the way, so this, um, this tweet here from uh, this post from Trump, this was removed by Facebook. And this is fucking dangerous in an election year, right? A post like this brings optimism to people. It makes them feel like they have nothing to fear but fear itself, right? Like if, if, if Franklin Roosevelt wrote that on Twitter in 2020, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. <laughs> Daniel Dale over at CNN. Actually, fact check. You have many things to fear besides fear itself. You have the Japanese militarism. You have Hitler's uh, growing aggression in uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, you have the growing uh, communist threat uh, in the Soviet Union. You have uh, lots of things. You have uh, polio's still a threat. Uh, and the president should know this himself because he has polio. So wrong on many accounts there, Wolf. Wrong on many accounts. This is what they would fucking do. It gets insane. We're, we're, we're censoring the goddamn president of the United States for being optimistic and factual. Like everything he said is fucking factual. And it gets taken down. Why? Because this is all, talk about collusion. We're worried about the goddamn Russians. We're about the Russians. We should be worried about Facebook and Twitter, the most trafficked platforms in the world, which coincidentally a month before the election, I get kicked off of. Hmm. I wonder why that is. And Trump is spreading optimism on here and they don't like that. Cause you know what people do with an optimistic outlook? They reelect whoever the president is. And they don't want that shit. That's like their worst nightmare. So their only hope this entire time was to spread negative negativity. It failed with Russia. It failed with Kavanaugh. It failed with Ukraine. It failed with impeachment. It failed with everything. And then they got fucking lucky, man. Coronavirus is the best thing that ever happened to the Democratic Party fucking ever. It is. They're enjoying this. They love watching that number go up, even though that number is completely inflated because, you know, you die in a fucking car accident and you got COVID, you died of COVID. So they're, they're loving every single minute of this. It's it's an absolute disgrace. Uh, and, and more, it's election meddling. That's what this is. Like if you're in, if you're trying to, because a tweet like this, this goes viral, people read it. They're like, you know what? That's a good point, Trump. I'm voting for you. You, you inspire me with your optimism. Now they can't see it. Or they're like, you know, well, he must be lying. Facebook and Twitter said he's lying. And it's all these goddamn snitches from the Washington Post and CNN who are like tattling on it, right? This, where do you see this one lunatic? Her name's Jennifer Rubin. She's another one of these never Trump conservatives who are just worse than libertarians. They're the absolute fucking worst. This is what she tweets out yesterday when he leaves the hospital. Something we should all be cheering on. Congress might want to defund Walter Reed. It's a public health hazard. That's what she actually writes. Pub public health, like the hospital, because it released him too early is a public health hazard. Okay, sure thing. Uh, here's another one from Maureen Dowd from the New York Times. Let's see what she has to say. Fix my mic, by the way. So here's Maureen Dowd from the New York Times. It says, when Trump walked through the doors, Walter Reed had a stellar reputation. As he walks out 72 hours later, its reputation is in tatters. Is not so. Let me so just to be clear, just to review what happened here. Man with virus goes into hospital. Three days later, man leaves without being sick. That that hurt their reputation. This is how fucking insane these people are. Like, how can you put this spin? They really are the enemy of the American people. The last thing they want you to do is be optimistic that there's any hope of this. They, they would lose all control. And I'm just, I'm fascinated that I'm living in a world where people are so willing to be controlled. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's never been a time, a better time to attack the United States of America, 
right? Never been a better time to attack the United States of America because we are a country that is just fucking petrified of dying, petrified of like hurting ourselves, petrified of getting a boo-boo. And, you know, I, I feel like we wouldn't even put up a fight. We'd be like, oh, no, just, just let them take whatever we want. We can't die. No one's allowed to die. No one's allowed to get hurt, et cetera. So uh, here's another one. Let's see here. Check this out. This is a, a video of a, a funeral. Check, this is like fucking heartbreaking. Like th that this is still happening after all the George Floyd shit, too. Here's a here's a funeral. A son moves his chair next to his mother. Uh, and uh, to comfort her at the funeral of her late husband, a member of staff says they've been told and asked to separate. And what? So watch this. So they they move next to each other. He hugs his mother. You've been told you can't separate. Like this is fucking real. Like this is insane. Insane. Now, if George Floyd died, then you can all sit next to each other, and you know. Whew. Uh, let's watch another one. Let's see what we got here. Next up, what do we have? Oh, check out this one from Biden. Oh my God, what a fucking pussy! I can't believe this guy might be president of the United States. Yeah, like, going like we'll talk about that in a moment. Like, he tweets this out: "Wear a mask. Masks matter. They save lives. Like we, this is something we're we're celebrating now. <laughs> like we are literally celebrating." a man hiding from a virus. Like what a bunch, what a nation of cowards. What a nation of cowards. The guy on the left is what America should aspire to be. Somebody who's not afraid of a fucking virus, which by the way, he just had, or he probably still has in him. Like that is what America needs. America should be inspired by strength, resiliency, determination. And instead, they're inspired by pussiness, just hiding, hiding in a fucking basement, putting a goddamn mask on, hiding from a fucking virus. Are you kidding me? What a bunch of cowards. Oops. Sorry. Um, anyway, check out this. Here's another one. Let me show you this more media lion to you. Did you see the Michelle Obama? Sorry to go all politics tonight, but I just, I need to get this out. So Michelle Obama uh, decided that she was, you know, the queen. Pull this up here. Change the audio. All right. Check it. Michelle Obama decides she's going to do a PSA on social justice. And this is what she says. They're stoking fears about black and brown Americans lying about how minorities will destroy the suburbs, whipping up violence and intimidation. And they're pinning it all on what's been an overwhelmingly peaceful movement for racial solidarity. <laughs> it's true. Research backs it up. Only a tiny fraction of demonstrations have had any violence at all. So what the president is doing is once again patently false. It's morally wrong. And yes, it is racist. Oh, fuck right off. Oh my fucking God. It's racist. Like Trump is rightfully saying that, like criticizing the guy, like she's there's this is the democratic party standing up for right. Mostly peaceful. They always say that. Well, 93% of, you know, protests were, were nonviolent 93%. But yeah, nobody got shot when they did a fucking protest in Wilbraham or Monson. Yeah. No, nothing happened there. The, the one in Paxton was all set. Nobody died in Holden, guys. We're good. Nothing got looted. <laughs> That's those are all factored in. Now do the big cities. Every single big city that had a fucking protest, shit got looted and burnt. And if you point this out, you're evidently racist now. Like these people want to run the country again. Insane. But that doesn't mean it won't work. Because this is a, a difficult time. Oh, yeah. So a difficult. confusing time. And when people hear these lies and crazy conspiracies repeated over and over and over again, they don't know what to think. With everything going on in their lives, they don't have time to fact check falsehoods being spread throughout the Internet. And even reasonable people might get scared. And the one thing this president is really, really good at is using fear and confusion. <laughs> and spreading lies to win.
I, like that she just literally described their platform. <laughs> like using, have you missed the COVID thing? <laughs> what? You can't be serious. And she's one of the moderate ones. She's like one of the ones that's, you know, she's one of the good ones. This is another one. This is Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Who just redefines the term beta male. Uh, so Matt Schlapp, the guy that runs CPAC, writes, so masks don't work. I'm, I'm confused because he was talking about why is a sick president riding in an SUV waving his supporters outside Walter Reed jeopardizing secret service agents within? Jeopardizing secret service agents. They signed up to take a fucking bullet from him. <laughs> and Chris Hayes from MSNBC says, the most the most humane and reasonable way uh, to deal with all these people, if we survive, if we survive, if we survive this, guys, if we fucking survive this, this is the media. If we survive, yeah, you're gonna survive, asshole. Unfortunately, you're gonna live. Boy, is some kind of truth and reconciliation commission. So afterwards, guys, after after we survive this and Democrats are back in power, you're all gonna have to go to reconciliation commissions to discuss all the horrible things that you did while this was going on. Okay. And again, this is a guy. So this is um a gentleman uh, from Facebook right here. Check this out. This is who's running the world. So this guy from CNN tweets out, Facebook has removed President Trump's post where he falsely claimed that COVID-19 is less deadly than the flu. Falsely. Just, that's just patently untrue that that's false. Patently untrue. And th this blue check mark named Andy Stone writes, that's correct. We remove incorrect information about the severity of COVID-19 and have now removed this post. He's like fucking bragging about it. Like I'm bragging. I censored the president of the United States on the world's largest platform. He's fucking proud of it. He's proud of it. One of Trump's greatest failures, guys, as president, if he doesn't get reelected, is that he had four years in office and he did absolutely nothing, nothing at all to stop big tech censorship. And the ultimate irony here is that if he loses, that that's going to be a major factor in his loss because they are just silencing him when he's saying true things now. Just silencing him. Like, look at this guy. Look at this is the dude who gets to control. Look at this fucking tool bag. Look at him. He gets to control the president of the United States. He gets to this, this guy right here gets to decide when the president gets to speak and what he gets to say. This fucking tool bag. Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, he's got 5,000 followers and a blue check mark. And he's uh, communications for Facebook. Right, right, right. And he's sitting on Facebook all day bragging about like all these things. Starting today, we'll remove any Facebook pages, groups, and Instagram accounts representing QAnon, even without violent content. This is an update from August. Well, we began really pages. So QAnon, I didn't even know what QAnon was until recently. They always throw it out there. Like, it's like a, it's a guy named Q. He's anonymous. And he tweets out shit about, um, I don't know, child sex trafficking, something like that. I don't, I don't really know that much about it. But there is, that does exist, particularly across the Mexican border. That That's a thing. I don't know if people know that. People get tr human trafficked. You know, kids get fucked. We see it all the time with the local predator poachers. We're going to talk about them in a moment. And um, they just want to silence them. Like, who, how does that, why, why, why? Because they don't want anything that goes against their narrative. They don't want any free thinkers out there. And I don't even buy it. I don't know what QAnon is all about. I have no intention of watching any of their shit. But they should have a right to say it. Just like Alex Jones and everybody else. These people are trying to take the election away from Donald Trump. And ironically, Donald Trump might lose because he did fucking nothing to stop it. So th there's that. I mean, look at look all this guy talks about is like, um, you know, people, oh, this guy won't take a test, like all this stuff. Uh, have we heard from Utah or debates about how strictly the mask requirement will be enforced next week for the debates? I mean, these fucking people, they're just so obsessed with it. So obsessed. It's just amazing. I don't. I, I've never been lower, right, than where we are right now. And I, so let me take a vote with Turtle Riders in the comments right now. Write one if you think Donald Trump is going to win, and two if you think Joe Biden will win this election. Go. I'm genuinely curious.
one 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 two oh we got one two so we have m jobs our first one that says uh michelle says two okay so we got a couple here um other than that blarney kated says two uh so i've only seen a few people who think a uh, fat rob thinks biden will win everybody else though is seems to be saying trump that's interesting now uh i don't think that i mean i, I go back and forth with this and i'll be, watch i'll be fucking wrong it's just i've just lost faith in the american public and i think that eventually all this censorship and like media it's gonna catch up to them man it's like they're fucking all in like every day i go on real clear politics and i read the polls and every fucking day it gets worse and yes i know it's goddamn it's the polls they've been wrong about shit before all the time but it's getting bad it's getting really fucking bad it's like worse than it was a couple years ago when he barely won three states right like pennsylvania today he's down by five north carolina down by two another north carolina down by four florida down four Another Florida down six. Pennsylvania down four. Pennsylvania down 11. 11. Michigan down eight. Michigan down eight. Michigan down nine. Wisconsin down seven. Arizona down six. Maine down 11. You fucking kidding me. Oi. New Mexico down 14. Overall down 16. Oi. So, I mean... That doesn't bode well. I, I, it's if you go to if you and I always go on. I, I always say go to Vegas, right? Because Vegas doesn't fuck around. Vegas doesn't like to lose money. And if you go to Vegas lines, and we'll see. Let's go to see who's winning right now. What are the odds? Odds right now are basically Joe Biden minus one eighty, Donald Trump plus one thirty five. That means if you bet a hundred that Trump will win, you win one hundred thirty five. If you bet a hundred that uh, Joe Biden will win, I think that comes out to like 60 or 55 bucks, something like that. So he's a decent sized favorite right now. A week ago, this was even. A week ago, this is even. I It's like, I hope, I don't fucking know. It's like, I just don't understand. I, I, I don't understand it. I got, I've reached my breaking point where I just don't fucking understand people, guys. Like I, I, I need you for like therapy out there. Like you're the only normal people left in this world. You're the only ones. And by the way, let me, uh, I forgot to share the fundraiser. If you guys want to donate. Hold on. If I missed anyone here. Did anybody donate so far? I forgot to share it. Seven Pounder says, uh, love the show tonight with the screen. I'll get used to it. Maybe try wearing a darker shirt. Proud to be a turtle rider. Absolutely. Jared Stidham says, my first touchdown was for you. That was a nice touchdown. What did you guys think of that game last night? By the way, boom. Right there. Wait, Brett wants to call in? Brett, hold on. If Brett wants to call in, he's more than welcome to. Does he have something to say? If anybody else wants to call in too, we can do a call in show. Boom, right there. Mrs. G.I. Turtle says, This is the only place I feel like normal people exist. I feel the same way. I feel the same way about you guys, you know? But. Is Brett there? Does Brett want to call in? I can't see your face anymore. How about now? I'm going to figure this out. That's You guys know what that is in the background? What is that in the background? Uh, here's Brett. What's up, Brett? Dude, how did your team do Sunday? Oh, fuck off. Okay, so can we talk about that for one moment? Let me hey. see. Can you guys hear Brett? Do I have the right mic on for him? I think oh. you guys can hear him, right? Oh, for fuck's sake. No, no, I think we're good. So you want to talk about that, oh, Brett? Yeah. You want to rub that in? Well, Go ahead. Well, I would love to because you guys beat me last week. How would you do this week? Yeah, you know, dude, it's fucking commie cold. That's why we lost. Oh, just because of Cam? Uh, kind of an important position now. The quarterback? No, but uh, four months ago, you guys were so high on Stidham. Stidham I was never high on Stidham. I was just Suzanne because she went to Auburn. Dude, you guys have one of the best coaches in the NFL. True. And you still can't win with scrubs, right? Brett, we are playing the Super Bowl champions in their house. Oh, 
Oh, Super Bowl come cheer. on. What? You don't think? Why did you, you guys beat New Orleans, right? And by the way, we kicked your yeah. ass. Right. Why we only New beat New Orleans because they didn't have this star receiver. Right. So that's the thing. <laughs> the you know, star players fucking matter. Right. And uh, yeah, obviously absolutely. last night. So they played. Belichick fucked up last night. I'll, I'll give him that. He never oh. played. I went into the game. I'm like, why the fuck are they playing Brian Hoyer? Like, you know what Brian Hoyer is. He's he's the worst quarterback in the NFL. I don't know how he has a fucking job. He's like the only ca- – like the Kaepernick people should point to Brian Hoyer. Like, the What's up with that guy? Like that guy's got a fucking job. That guy fucking sucks. Every Dude. single place he's gone to. He's not just bad. He fucking sucks. And Belichick likes him for some reason because he knows the system. But I'm like going into last night. I assumed Stidham was going to start. Why the fuck would you not play? Like you're going to lose the game, right? The, don't you have to go into that game assuming that you're going to lose to the Super Bowl champs? Absolutely. Right. But so, I would run into it with Stidham though. Like of course I wouldn't have that's, played that's the other saying. fucking idiot. That's what I'm saying. You go into it with Stidham because you're like, well, we this is literally the perfect game to find out what he's got. Because we're going to lose anyway. So we might as well figure out what this guy is all about. Because we already know what Brian Hoyer is all about. He sucks. That's what Brian Hoyer is. He's a bag of suck. And that's, so, that's his career definition. Yes. If you look up Hoyer in the dictionary, it starts with suck. Yes. Suck, suck, <laughs> it suck, really suck, suck. does. <laughs> no, like, he's so fucking bad. Like, I, like, He had that one interception right across. He threw his throw into, I think, Izzo, the tight end. It was just right over his fucking head. It was like a 10-yard pass, not even fucking close. And then, of course, that play at the end of the half where he like just tried to do a fucking Randall Cunningham and like spin move and shit uh. with no timeouts. And they tried to call he, pulled, he pulled a Chris Webber. He tried calling a timeout when he didn't have one. <laughs> Like he's like, what are you fucking doing? He's like, is this your first game in the NFL? Jesus Christ, this guy fucking sucks. I hate Hoyer so much. And Stidham came in, and yeah, he had a pick or two there, but he had a nice touchdown. And like, uh, you know, what the fuck? You know, and, and Edelman, let's be honest, Julian Edelman cost him how many points yesterday? At least uh, six. I don't give a fuck though, but Entermans has been your dude for so long. Yeah, too long. That little fucking asshole runs across the middle of the field, grabs a fucking third and 19. You know what I mean? Like, you can't blame him for it. Yeah. I mean, you could. I, I mean, it was, he tried to do uh, some crazy shit. Oh, you're talking about Edelman or Hoya? Yeah. He's one of the best players you guys have ever oh, yeah. had, I mean, he, that little he, tiny motherfucker. Yeah, I mean he he's a Super Bowl legend. The Falcons game catch the the Se- the Seahawks touchdown. Like he'll go now. He's a Hall of Famer, but uh, you know he did he dropped a pretty big fucking pass yesterday that th- landed right in the uh, the Honey Badger's arms and it was a touchdown. So that's not good, right? So when will your new savior Newton come back? Has he three, passed I'll be, I'll be any um back, any tests or whatever? Yeah, he'll be good. You tell me they're not going to let that guy anywhere near Connie Cold. My question is, so, what happens if like Pat Mahomes is in the Super Bowl and he gets it? Are, they're really not going to play him, dude. I, I'm I'm honestly convinced that his girlfriend is the the ground yeah. zero for Connie Cold. That yeah. spiteful, disgusting bitch. <laughs> if if, if Connie Cold had a face, it would be Pat Mahomes' girl. It would be his girlfriend's face. How fucked is he? By the way, I can't stop looking at the face that you have there, Brett. I saw that post you did, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, man, you're a hater. I was like, no, that bitch is vile as fuck. Yeah. She is the fuck. literal female face of cancer. I'm with you, Andre. not? Is there ever been a bigger moron than Patrick Mahomes? That like, like, you're 25, right? You can have any chick you want in the entire fucking world. You're Patrick fucking Mahomes. You're a multi, multi millionaire. And you're with this buck tooth chick who has the worst personality known to mankind. And you knocked her up. What what the fuck is wrong with him? What was his his contract? Wasn't it five hundred million? Yeah. He's the richest guy in the in the highest isn't that the highest contract ever in NFL history? Yeah. And yeah. rightfully so. He's the best. He's Listen, the best. have your lawyer write up the paperwork, give her half, and run. Yeah. Run. 
<laughs> well, he's fucked now. It's too late. So it's too late, man. So anyway, uh, so who's that in your profile picture there, Brett? Oh, that's my little friend, Scaby. <laughs> Dude, she's in so insane, man. Like, she texts me all the time. I, I, I could go through my text. I don't write back. I just ignore them. Like, the, the craziness just I – mean, I've never met people that are this psychotic as, as her and Gaffney. And they're just – No, that, that's what bugs me is, is, like, I get – I think it's 4 a day before 8 a.m. And yeah. then by noon, I have four more texts. And you don't and even it's respond. it's all her. Yeah. No, no. Well, I I play a game now to where I won't respond until it's twenty. So until you send twenty texts, I'm not going to answer. So once that twentieth comes, I talk shit. Yeah, and I talked shit to her yesterday about her frisky dad that died, and I'm like, well, okay. maybe I'm, I'm like, well, you have dad issues, so you. You you put that on me and Aiden. And she's like, no, you motherfucking suck. And I'm like, well, well, what do we do to you? Oh, you motherfuckers. And I'm like, well, um, I think that's more on you than us, sweetie. I mean, if for those of you unfamiliar, we're talking about a woman named Stacy Bonds who's just clinically insane. She used to be a turtle rider. Uh, and she just messed. Like, if you go to – she's in the gaff pack, right? She's with Gaffney. And Ryan Waters and uh. Pete Peter, just all the lunatics have found each other. And they write about, if you go to Mike Gaffney's page, he's probably writing about me right now. They write about me 24-7 and then accuse me of being an obsessor. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I don't even want to talk about it because it's like he just wants that. And I don't even want to give it to him. But well, anyway. No. Uh, he stopped. Like, if you look at his page, he hasn't talked about you in about oh, two check weeks. It Who? Gaff. He's, talked, he's posted about me multiple times today. Today? Really? Yeah. Oh, well, then Yesterday. they have just have yeah. me blocked then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. no, it's, it's, um, so Stacy, uh, PMs me yesterday and she's like, you and your power bottom or something lost YouTube and you lost Twitter and ha 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 ha, we'll get you all. Yeah, I love and that. And I, I messaged her back and I was like, well, what did you accomplish? It's like, fuck you, you pedo. I'm like, well, okay, but um, what have you accomplished? It's like, we'll get all of you and your little turtle too. And it's like, well. Yeah, um, for those of you unfamiliar, these people are celebrating you know, <laughs> the fact that they got my Twitter account taken down, which I don't even think any of them did. They're all just taking, they all just want the, the skull, like they want the bounty. I got the him down. Yeah. You know, but of course, I'm back. So, what the fuck did you accomplish? And you might take this one down too, but I'll be back. Just understand that I'm not going anywhere. You'll never, ever, 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 ever silence me. Ever. And, and so, as soon as you posted the thing on Facebook, though, to where you said, I don't give a fuck what pages you get taken down, da, 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 I get a message on Instagram. And it's Stacy going, ha, 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 he's so butthurt. You guys love me. And I'm like, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what are yeah. you doing? You sound high tonight, Brett. You high? <laughs> oh, I'm baked as a pie, son. Oh, I can tell, son. I can tell. Uh, I just right. hate how they all say, oh, Aiden and Brett are obsessed with us. And then 50 PMs later. We react, and then it's like, oh, they're obsessed. They're obsessed. They're obsessed. They're, they're so obsessed. <laughs> and by the way, I, I, I still haven't gotten uh, a summons for the uh, Gaffney lawsuit, even though Kate raised $2,000 off it. I'm still waiting on that lawsuit, guys. So uh, if anybody's familiar with that, uh, you know, let me know. I'm still waiting on the paperwork there. So uh, you, you haven't gotten your deformation lawsuit yet? No, I have not got the deformation lawsuit. Almost like it's not or you your wiretapping. Uh, no, I haven't got my uh, no. The wiretapping's criminal. That was just completely made up. There are no wiretapping charges. Oh, so that hasn't happened either. So yeah, just to be clear, everything that she said is going to happen didn't happen. There was no restraining order. None of it. Like no, no content Wait, was taken on. None. But of it. they're still raising money. 
Yes. With the first two paragraphs being about you. That's correct. All I'm, right. I'm good for business. It. I mean, let's be honest. The Turtle Boy Industrial Complex is good for ratchet business. It's how they can raise money and, you know, build morale and stuff like that. So, I don't know. It's flattering, I guess, that they think about me that much, but it is mm. what it is. So Kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, man. Thanks for coming on, brother. I'm gonna all right, you. thanks, man. I'll Please. talk to you. All right, we got Suzanne. Let's see if we can get – can Suzanne get it? Go, Suzanne. What's up? Well, I don't know. Can you hear me? It worked. Hey, hey. Oh miracles my God, do occur. Got What's happening? Well, I have to, like, give credits to my boy, Jared Stidham. Yeah, he was okay. He was better than Hoyer. Well, I mean, yeah, good yeah. Lord, a dead body would have been better than Hoyer. But, yeah. um, oh, come on, that sweet pass to Neil in the oh, end zone. Pass. Oh, that was, honey, that was – and, all right, Edelman dropped that. I mean, Edelman just failed with that yep. other pass. I completely agree. And if Boyd, I'm sorry, Bird actually had like been aggressive. Now nah, that was underthrown. <laughs> he had him. Tom Brady would have hit that pass. You know that, right? I don't know. You know what? Bird was just sitting there and he's kind of like, Ugh. you know, he could have like been aggressive. He was not aggressive. He was not watching the pass. Yeah. All right. Cool. But, well, I, know, I know. He, he was doing, he was doing pretty well, but, uh, I gotta tell you, like Mahomes is just getting like way too freaking cocky. You know, he's oh, rightfully won. so. What don't no, he's you know, he's not won like four or five Super Bowls. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I mean he's young. He he has the same amount of rings that Brady had at his age, so we will see. No, I think Brady had more at his age. Nah, Brady won his first at 24. He won his second at 26, and he won his next at 27. So Mahomes is 25 right now. Oh, if wow. He wins, if he wins I thought again, Brady was younger. Okay. No, nah, because Brady oh, was 20, oh, 22 or whatever. Brady sat a year on the bench after graduating from college. So That's right. Oh, mm -hmm. and, and by the way, I do believe that since Gaffney is contributing to a fund – that is pro bono. There may seem maybe some legalities behind that that are oh, not well, exactly if, well, right. That's if he uh, if he represents her, which he won't, because there's not going to be a lawsuit. So, of course just, not. But they're just scamming their idiot followers, which I have no problem with because they deserve to be scammed anyway. Those people weren't meant for that money. And we all sit here and chuckle, but see? exactly, we're just laughing. So and now and everyone, everyone, it's everyone like, so that's why I laugh at like any like, oh my god, she gets more views than you. Uh, yeah, but I have more of my kids in her, so yeah, <laughs> you have a hundred percent. She has, 100%. yeah. So about happy, that. happy, joy, joy. Oh, oh, and everyone now, see, I can do stream yard. Bye. Yes. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Suzanne. Take care, love. Bye. 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 All right. Oh, how, how about that, man, Suzanne? Figured it out. She's she's good with the technology now. Okay. Uh, last thing I just want to show you guys. Uh, the uh, so the predator poacher ones that they're back. I'm excited. The predator poachers are back. My guys from Lemonster. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like them. I like them. I don't give a shit what people say. The bootleg uh, uh, Scott. The bootleg. What the hell's his name? Chris Hansen's uh, Puerto Rican Chris Hansen. That's what we should call him. He uh, he he bagged he bagged the state's uh, state representative candidate from North Attleboro, home of Bristol Blarney, uh, and he well, it was an older candidate. And that blog, I got like two hundred thousand hits on that blog because it went viral on fucking Reddit and James Woods tweeted it out. It was fucking crazy. But they're back. They're back. They got another one tonight. We'll end it with watching uh, just a little bit of this. Watch Jay's latest catch. So this is a uh, I think this is at Fitchburg State. Look at this guy, the Karate Kid, the Karate Como. I said, not much home board. Can oh. I tell you something? So you didn't know he was 14? No. So he never told you that? He said he was 16. He said he was 16. Are you sure? Because I stream record everything. I told you I'm very good at this. I'm very good at what I do. What did I Easy, Jay. Did that boy Easy. Say he was? I thought he said 16. You thought he said 16. Oh, wait, you guys can't hear this, Let's can go you? Over some of Hold this on. Real quick so I can remind you real quick. Let's remind you. Okay. So, who did you hit up me first, oh, or did I hit up you? I, uh, I hit you up, I think. Yes, yes, you hit me up, and you said, uh, you're, um, you said, you're very sexy. I Ooh. said, hey, thanks. 
You said, welcome, what's up? I said, not much home board. Can I tell you something and don't get mad? Uh, I'm about to be back on my dorm room, sure. He's a college student, this guy. I'm school lucky, LOL. Um, Well, I'm 14, turning 15. Trust me, I'm a big boy. Oh, really? Look at his face. So clearly, I told you right there my age. Oh, you missed I must have missed. (laughs) Look at this guy. This is great. This is great. Why would you stand here? Like, big. I said, at least uh, the state rep state, guy got the yes. fuck out of there. I like, said, uh, if you get caught I trying to fuck a kid by the predator poachers, just you run. That's your best I advice. Said, run. Sounds so yummy for my tight faggot ass. Oh, that's not good. I don't even use that F word, man. That's like a horrible word, too. To no, use, man. Why would you even use that word? I use that and word sometimes. In that yeah, it's okay. Man. It's okay. He that's can't, a horrible, well, that's even, disgusting word to use. That's like the N word for gay people, right? You coming out here to meet a minor today. Milo calls, you, calls himself that. You did know. Okay, let's cut the bullshit. Look at this guy. What's he holding? Diapers? I'm very good at what I do, okay? I know. Easy, him, Jay. You know. Easy. Why would I meet a 14 year old? What? Because you want to so fuck him. Every other question I asked you in this chat log, you answer 100% correctly. But all of a sudden, the age, you just, you don't know the age. Like I said, I was in the middle of driving. I don't pay attention to my phone. Oh, right, right, right. It was you accidentally. It. You were in the middle of driving? That's not That's not what you You said you were just walking home, got in the door. So you just bypassed the age. But right after that, you'd tell me, yummy, yummy, asking me the size of my penis. I did not ask you the size of my penis. You said how? Oh, really? How big? Okay, so okay, I, I you didn't say it directly. Okay, I get that. You're you're right. Uh, you said just got back. Where are you from? Fitchburg, really? Not far. Where? Uh, then you say, not because I want you to come fuck my tight ass. Oh, Hello? okay. It just said five that. miles away. That's why I asked. So what did you just say right there? You said something else sexual once again. Watch this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is cool. So Jay picked up like ten thousand followers subs in one day yesterday because of that fucking video, and he like he goes out now. This is on a a, ro- a major road. I don't know if it's a major road, but I think it's near Fitchburg State. And like people just see him now. <laughs> They're like, hey, brother poachers. Hey, go do your thing. Sexual again, right or wrong. The whole conversation was sexual. The whole conversation, exactly. <laughs> and you want me to believe that the whole conversation was sexual and you just didn't understand the age. How old are you? I'm How old are I'm you? 30. You're 30 years old. What the fuck's he doing? At Pittsburgh and State? What are you in school for? Filming video. Film oh, good. Video, filming huh? video. He's making films and videos. That's Damn. great. Great news. 30, where are you originally from? What's the news? Western man. This guy fucks a lot of kids. Hey, what's good? What's good, baby? <laughs> so what's good? What's good, baby? Man, how what? do I? Have <laughs> hey, you ever, poachers. Because now you're still not being honest with me. Instead of being honest, you're <laughs> this guy. Saying, you know come what? on, I'm just trying to fuck age. a kid. Yeah. I made a mistake. I did not know his age. Though. My bad. How many people have told me that? How no, he's you fifteen. Think, how many people do you think have told me that? I understand that. A lot. I understand that. That's what I'm saying. So everyone, every single person, told me the same exact thing. And then guess what else? What else did you send me? Don't dick pics. A picture. Oh, dick a picture pics. Of what? <laughs> a picture of your ass. <laughs> so, are you gonna be truthful or what? It's I'm terrible. Start over. I'm gonna give you one more. I, I, one more. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna start. <laughs> a picture. I don't, I don't use Just no leave, donuts, dude. Run away. Chance. Ready? Run away. One more time. Oh god. One more time. Ready? What is what is your name? Let's just start this. No, what is, I'm not telling you my name. Oh, we're gonna well, find I'm gonna out. Get your name. Anybody know his name? I'm I love get to everything out. about you. Yes, I will. No, I'm not. I will know everything about you. I will call the police right now. Matter of fact, why are you doing that? <laughs> am I doing this? You mean why are you, you doing? Because you you want to sit here and lie. This guy's funny. Not, and not be truthful. It's like, dude, what? Trying to fuck a kid. You know what? Nine, this is an unrepentant pedophile right so, here. Did you see that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but Once again, I, let's be honest. Who sent a picture of the ass? So you didn't know. The you know he's got a hairy I, ass too. What do I have to do? So he's a bottom. At least we know that. To you, but you to believe me. 
but right. but what I, I don't why well, you know why I don't believe you? It's just because I know out of every single person I've caught, not one of you guys have been telling the truth. But if he was like, suck my dick right now, you, I'm you, an adult. I, I prove just, prove it, you. prove you I'm like grown ups. Your, Blow your me right age, now. I mean your name, and you can't even tell me your name or anything. But that's because fine. Do you you don't have to tell me your name. Yeah, no, ass pics there, right? That's a new you know, you know this guy's got a hairy ass. This this guy's ass is covered in hair. That's probably a fucking sight to see. Jesus. Your family will see. What is this. he wearing on his head? Like, everybody, look at this outfit. Everybody in that school. The, you got the very, purple the flannel that shirt. The paper in that school, I'm very close with. So. The Ryu had been. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of made a really bad move today. Mistake. Like I said, you're free to go at any time. You could leave. You, yeah, Are you I sure? Not, I can't hold Dude, you. Dude, nothing was stopping you in the first place. Did, did I harm you in any way? No. Okay. Well, I got to walk and make sure you get back home safely. Why? Why? Okay. So. <laughs> They're back. The predator, the predator poachers are back. I know Brett doesn't like him. I like him. And I saw Brett in the comments say, uh, "Does anybody have a problem with him pretending to be a kid?" I don't know. Does anybody have a problem with cops to pretend when they pretend to be hookers? I don't know. It is what it is. That's how you catch people. You know, you pretend to be something you're not. All right. Any questions you guys have? Fire away, and then we'll call it a night. Again, if anybody wants to uh, hit up the donos, I'll just leave it here real quick. And I finally figured out who Katie Ray was this weekend. I had no idea. Katie Ray is Alina. That makes so much sense now. I had no idea. I had no idea. Welcome to my girl, Alina. You're back. What senator got caught recently? Uh, no senators got caught. Not yet. Imagine Ed Markey got caught. He'd still win. He'd still win. Did Dan retract the statement? No, but I am actually, uh, uh, tomorrow I'm drafting a letter or an email to the superintendent who did respond to people about this. Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking to a lawyer myself. I just have to find the right one, you know? So hopefully, I'm not, I wouldn't be suing the him personally. It would be the school district. So this is like a, not one you want to do pro se, you know? Clearly Aiden doesn't read the live chat often. I've been trying to shame her into leaving for months. Oh, you don't want her here, Blonde Kated? You don't like her? She's funny. She's like Amanda Sawyer, but like not, and not as nearly as annoying. Are you suing that guy to say you're a pet? Yeah, but it's, uh, I'd like to put it that way, but it's not that simple. I need to speak to an attorney. Like I feel like the bigger picture here is that they violated. He represented himself as an agent of the school district. So yes, I am. I am going to follow through on that. I promise you. I'll do Aiden. Then I do you, Brett. Okay. That's what she said. I will go after, but believe me, but you can't bleed water from a stone. All right, anything else? I know, the green screen, I have to figure out how this works. I don't know if there's any green screen experts here or how this works. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, this isn't bad when it's like this. Hey, and this is Worcester, and by the way, in the back of me, glorious Worcester in all its glory. I mean, this is, if, as long as I say it right, just like this, it's okay. I don't know how this works. I don't know if there's any experts out there. I got to talk to somebody. Ah. Uh. And yes, I'm aware of what my eyes look like. What's going on with the diddler? Diddler on the roof? Uh, no, nothing. He's just talking a lot of shit. He's not going to do anything, that guy. I love the blue screen. Can we make it so someone donates $200? They can do whatever they want on the blue. Ooh, we could do that. Sponsorship of the blue screen. We could definitely do that. It's actually not a bad idea, Sarah. All right, any last minute questions before we call it a night? Because I have something I want to attend to, quite frankly, and it's fun.
Why do I look like anime? I don't know. How about fifty dollars a show for? The, and we could do something like that for sure. Now I like the way you guys are thinking. I don't do freestyles on Tuesdays. I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go live tomorrow night too for the VP debate. Probably. I I don't see why I wouldn't do that. I'm looking forward to this because Pence is a much better debater than Trump, and hopefully Tr Pence can save Trump's ass because he needs it, man. He needs it. Get a Patreon for real. That's essentially what the Turtle Club is going to be. It is a, is a form of Patreon. All right. Uh, if any, nobody has any more questions, Mass Report is killing you, fool. Yeah, but I got my kids though. That's the thing about that. So, looks like I'm winning. Looks like I'm winning, man. Hundred percent of them. I, I could have gotten rid of one of them, but it's kind of a weird thing giving away half of your kids. You know what I mean? Kind of a weird thing. Can I please get the cash app? But is there like a button for that? I never see that anywhere. Is a button? May I, mean, I guess I could. Go get laid, man. He says, "Yeah." All right, all right, guys. Uh, if if that's it, I guess we'll call it a night. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, thank you for the donos. I appreciate that. Uh, crying Ryan, no, nothing more from him, Steven. You got nothing more from crying Ryan. Uh, and it's the easiest way to donate no fees. Okay. I'll look into that. You get charged for cash out. I'll, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. All right, guys. I, I guess we'll see you all on, uh, uh, tomorrow night, probably. If not Thursday night for sure. All right. Peace out, riders.